Hey, good morning everybody. Yeah, it's about six o'clock. I'm heading off to work early, trying to get some breakfast first, but anyway, um, you know, I want to welcome you to a another edition of the Animated Girl Profiles Confidential. And, you know, we started out with some good ones, two, four good ones at first, and now um, we're going to continue on with one that you see in front of you, and of course this um, this really shouldn't uh, come, I guess, much as a surprise. Uh, but here we have um, from Bonkers, Fawn Deer. Now I've talked about Fawn Deer before, um, text-wise and video-wise and all that. But he's a character that you know. <laughs> trying to think of what I'm going to say. Uh, here's a character that, along with Bonkers, historically debuted in the 1992 feature at Pedal to the Metal. And then officially made Saturday morning debut uh, about a month or two later on Raw Tunage. Now, Bond's history is uh, its kind of unique, uh, in a sense. You see, had... Um, um, had things gone uh, according to plan, um, if you will, uh, for Bonkers, and it was all, in the entire series that was on the Disney Afternoon was all him and Miranda, which was originally supposed to be the concept, uh, there's no doubt in my mind Fawn would have had a major role. Now, we get this indication, of course, with episodes like Casa Bonkers, you know, we see her in Flash, in, um, in, you know, even with the Lucky episodes, you kind of get an idea there was something more planned for the character, because like I say, we see her in Casa Bonkers, um, guy's got his lights on, truck's got its brights on. But like I say, we uh, we see her in you know Casablancas. We see her in a like in a flashback, even in the Lucky episodes. And you know, even when Bonkers is telling Miranda's nephew a, a bedtime story, we see her in there. You know, we ba we basically uh, get an indication, Haitian in a sense that she was going to have a bit of a bigger role. Um, Fawn, basically, I think a lot of people might look at her and say, well, why was she the love interest? Why was she the one that, um, you know, Bonkers fell for? And, uh, you know, that it's just the way it was. You know, I remember, you know, watching the show back when I did, and, you know, I thought back then, and, you know, that, you know, being naive a little bit, you know, being a fan of cartoons anyway, I thought they were basically trying to take a page out of Mickey and Minnie, kind of making her like the Minnie Mouse of uh, of this generation. And so, yeah, she uh, she's definitely a, a, you know, a very intriguing character, very sweet, but you could tell that there was more to her, like. You know, like they had something, like I said, like it, it's almost like they had something planned. But because of what happened behind the scenes, that all got scrapped. It's like they knew they had something going for the character, but they couldn't do anything uh, to salvage it because of what happened behind the scenes. You see, you know, I, I think in all honesty, uh, I think, in all honesty, Fawn probably would have ended up as a cop. Just, just my opinion. I mean, again, you know, just the fact that, you know, you can kind of sense in a way that they had other plans for her, but like I say, those plans kind of went askew uh, due to the fact that, you know, Fawn, uh, due to the fact that the other uh, Miranda episodes were scrapped and put into Disney Vault. And... Uh, there's no doubt in my mind, um, had they done a Christmas episode, uh, she would have had a major role. There's no doubt in my mind there. Um, but yeah, she was she was not usually the damsel in distress at times, if, you know, when people think about it. 
because honestly she was she was more than that she she actually got involved you take a look at raw tunage and the fact that in the uh, the short bonkers in space she acted she actually became actively involved you know she wasn't needed to be rescued I mean her roles were basically that of you know she could be bonkers as you know, boss, and, you know, be very sweet and kind and loving on him. You know, his sweet, caring neighbor, or his new neighbor, that is, like the new girl next door or upstairs. You know, those are the kind of roles she took on. She never really took on much of a damsel. I mean, yeah, she even took on a princess role in uh, the Sherlock Bonkers uh, short. But again, she, she never... How do I put this... She never did um, anything outside of being much of a damsel. I think the only time she was ever a damsel was in draining cats and dogs, and that was it. That was it. But it was mostly because she was <laughs> needing a, a a leaky pipe or something, or a clogged sink or something like that. You know, uh, fixed. You know, she again, like I said, she was. Uh, this thing. There we go. I locked my bike up. She was never really much of of a damsel when you, when you think about it. She was not really much in that role. She was more like there was a certain role for her. Either it's small, big. She took it. There you go. And uh, again, like I said, she she really wasn't much of a damsel. You know, like I said, it was only once, but that was basically she was trying to, I guess, in her own, on her own, trying to fix the clog and. Somehow she got sucked down the drain of a tub. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, you know, Fondier, in a sense, to me was was and is a character that, you know, again, I believe had the Miranda episodes gone through the way they were originally supposed to, and the entire series was mostly Miranda and Bonkers, then she would have had a bigger role. She definitely would have had a huge role in a Christmas episode. She probably would have had an episode or so where she tried to be a cop. You know, I really think these kind of things would have happened. But, you know, we'll never we'll never really know now because, you know, of what happened behind the scenes. And, you know, some people would say it's a shame, but, you know, like the old saying goes, you know, God has a, a reason for a lot of things. So, uh, but that's all I'm going to say on this fifth episode in addition of the um, Animated Girls profile confidence.